Hey guys, so welcome back to uh, to my um, day 10 of Road to Grandmaster. So today, finally, we are back to our main topic of uh, February, which is the end game. Um, mainly about analysis of adjunct position. So we're using this book again. Yeah, so this is the game I learned today. So this is actually a game. Right, and um, again, that um, is he say it's an analysis that was not taken to its end. So, um, uh, this means he because it's adjunct position they analyze before the game, so yeah, and then black pieces actually didn't analyze to the end, right? Just analyze like half and then. He actually played some mistake there, so um, yeah. So Tartakov would say a draw can be obtained not only by repeating three moves, but also by one weak move, right? So you see, um, the later game in later of the game. So let's see. Well, this game was played by. Um, George at say versus Yusupov. Right, so let's see. Right, um, okay, so in this position, white play queen takes b5 and queen takes d6. Alright, and okay, you can, as you can see in this position, the material, there's some imbalance there. We have pawn, rook versus bishop knight. But in this position, what well, usually we um, we all know that bishop, like two minor pieces, is better than rook or rook and pawn. But in this case, it's different because white knight it's out, it's out play, out of the game, it's out of the game, right? And then white, C, sorry, black c pawn is very, very strong. It's very strong. All right, so queen d6 is a check, right? And black's idea is very simple. He just want to trade the queen, right? Right, if he can. If the queen are exchanged off, exchanged off, and black's rook will penetrate into what's position with a decisive if effect. So let's see. King h1 is played. King g1 is weak because of queen d4 check. Now king h1. Um, king h2 just. Immediately loses to queen f4, queen c1 check, pick up the bishop, we pick up the bishop, black pick up the bishop, and king h1. Now rook e6, threatens rook e1 check, queen b8. Oh, uh, well, queen f1 check, we simply play king e7, now there's the threat of queen d2, threatens this bishop, and um, supporting rook e1, also queen h4 is a huge threat, supporting rook e1. So queen b8 check, rook e8, queen g3, g5, with the idea of queen f4, simply trade the queen, and after queen trades, just totally winning for black pieces, because, like I say, the, the pawn is too strong, and black rooks, black's rooks can go inside white's position, and start pushing past pawn, and just completely winning. So with king h1, just prevent any check, nasty check, and okay, rook e6 was played in the game, and um, white pieces, right, because it's adjunct position white pieces, before the game, he analyzed rook f2, which is a good move, which is a good move, right now, so white's problem, white's main problem is the knight is out of the game, so let's say in this position knight b6, well, nc5 is also possible. So let's say knight b6 takes, check, and we pick up the rook. And after queen takes b6, it's actually still, I mean, it's just winning for, for black. Right, it's, it's up a pawn and it's, it's simply winning, it's simply winning. And there's another way to win this game, actually. Simply g6. Let's push in g6, prevent queen f5 check. 
And then next move, we, we're gonna pick up the bishop. If the bishop runs, we have a passer, so it's, it's also completely winning for um, black pieces. Um, for some reason, Queen e6 was playing the game with Queen f1 check in here, and now there's two threats: Queen g3 and Queen d2. Right. So the idea is what I said before to support Rook e1. So now he played the only move, right, the only move, queen f2, right, defends both, and he intends to bring his knight into the game, right. Now basically, whites have to bring the knight to the game, otherwise it's, it's you just, like, there's no different, there's a knight here or knight here, if you didn't bring your knight into the game. So basically it's like you, you're down in exchange and not not only an exchange, there's a passer, so you have to bring your knight into the game. Otherwise it's just like this. The position should be like this, right? So knight c5 is it's oh, the white idea, white's idea. And now black simply prevents it with rook e5. Well let's see. Um now queen d2 doesn't work because of queen c5 check. He has seven queen c7, and now white brings his knight into the game. Right. Um. So rook e5 denies white pieces the important c5 square and renews the threat of queen the threat of um, queen d2. Right. For instance. After queen a7 check, we simply play queen d7, queen f2, queen d2, queen f7, we move our king here, here, yeah. And then again it's winning. So after rook e5, again, well, I play the only move, queen d3. Alright. So um, um, by the way, um, knight b6, it right, looks like knight still joined the game anyway, doesn't work because of queen d2, check, king b8, queen b6, well if queen f8, rook e8 just, um, losing for white, um, check, we take, and now again, it's just defense, defenseless for white, because yeah, so you lose. So, queen g3 is the only move. And now, right, with queen g3, now the knight can't join the game. Alright, so, now black play a really good move. So, both queen f6 or g5 is not good. Right, because black. Black has no time to play those moves. Right, it looks like it's, it strengthens strengthens his position. However, the idea of queen g3, it's the knight. Can't go to b6 anyway. And now the knight still joined the game. Knight c4 is a huge threat. Knight c8 is not a huge threat. And after knight c4, maybe white can save the game. Who knows? Oh, the black is still better. My queen f6 is also allowed 9b6. So, black play king d8. Right, simply, now you want to take on g7 also, you just king d8. Right, you, you can't take because of checkmate. Sorry. Um, sorry, sorry. Um, yeah, you, you, you can't take because of checkmate. Right, so what to do here? So, black's. I did, it's just simple. Rook e6, trying to trade queen. That's it. That's right, so now if you play knight b6, okay, rook e6. You, you run your queen, okay, we take the free knight, so you have to take knight c4, rook e6, while rook e2 is a huge threat. And now rook e1 check is winning, but there's another cool move, rook e2. And it's just completely winning. C2 is a huge threat and it's just winning. And what is, okay, so what is, uh, what is 
black threads here. Simple, let, let's say. Let's say we play some dumb moves like his short, his threads just go rookie 6, queen f2 and queen d2. Right, so that's the threats. Let's see. Um. Alright, so... Alright, in this position, if you play queen f2, trying to avoid the, the queen trade. Now we go queen f6. Check. Um, if queen g3, then we go queen e6. Now the threat is rookie one. Check. King h2, queen e5. And we, after king h2, actually we, we, we kind of like tricks them. Now we go queen d6. Again, we want to trade queen, you go king h1, and rook e6 f. Then we, we tricks them. Right, and we just tricks them. So, we need for check, let's say. e7 check here. And queen f1 check. And again, black is good. And now g5 doesn't work actually. Because when I c5. Right? And. After let's say we go queen f4, now it's different because after take sorry. So after uh take six, now there's just 94 move and black cannot break through anyway. Right, so it seems like what what's can save this probably. Alright, so let's see. Let's say in this position you play what else? What else can you play? So let's say you play king g1 here. Queen g4 check. G5 again with the idea of queen f4. So what else? Oh yeah, that's a 9b6. Alright, well, yeah, rookie sake, we've seen this move. Yeah, right? So Basically, it looks like we won the game, right? We won the game. We just win the game, right? There's no move. Super Swan. You can't move the knight. You can't move the queen. Right, you, you can move your queen, but queen d2 comes, or rookie 6. H4, rookie 6, king h2, and we tricks them. Alright, so we just trade, trade queens. What can you do? There's nothing to do, right? Seems like it's winning. Now, they just realized that white has this move. Knight takes c3. Alright, and okay, after knight takes c3, what should black play? Sorry, after takes, queen takes, and in this position, what should black play? Right, the surest way to victory is queen c5, good move. Well, the idea is after queen g3. Um, if queen d3, check. Okay, king e7, simply. So queen g3. Alright, just g5, a3. By the way, a3 is a very good move. Try to trade the queen side pawn. That's the best, best chance of drawing. But okay, queen e3 takes stakes. If b4, now rook c3. And it's just winning for black pieces. So having discovered this variation, Yusupov could have rest with a like. Just like if he can like finish his um, analysis. Unfortunately, um, you know, for some reason in the game, he didn't play queen c5. So Yusupov also discovered another move, which is rook c5. Right, which is rook c5. And we, we, we see this later. So it's actually like. This is actually quite funny because look at this. Black rooks from f6 to e6 to e5 to e6. And black queen from d6 to f6 to e6 to d6. The king from f8 to e7 to d8 to e7 to f8. Right, all this of course is strongest move, but like I mean just Um Yeah, this is funny. Oh it's like dancing in circles. Right. 
yeah, and, and then just completely disorganizing the opponent's defense. So, yeah, just look, just look at the, the roots of black pieces, area of black pieces. So in this position, right, um, so you suppose say that he, he also have this, he also can play this move, and he said if necessary, he would play this move right in the on the board. So in the game, knight c3 did happen. All right. So remember what I told what I told you before the game. So this is, this is an analysis that was not taken to its end. All right. So after this, All right, queen c5 is it's the winning move as as they say. All right, so this position, like they, they didn't analyze to the end. They analyze until here, and so, like they say, oh, the black is winning, <laughs> right? Yeah, black two is winning, but black still winning. But in this position, he played queen d five, which is not a good move. So, um, yeah, in the game, he saw that rook c five doesn't work because of queen takes g seven. You you can't take the bishop because of check. The king move anyway, queen h7 check. We pick up the rook. What well, it's even up upon. So he played queen d5 in the game, which is not good because I have the queen g3, queen e6. Now, right here, white pieces could have forced an exchange of the queens. Sorry, the, the queen side pawn, not the queen. So the queen side pawns by playing a3. Rook e1, king h2. Queen e5 now takes takes b4. Just trade the pawns on the queen side, and then the same side pawn. It's not easy to play such in game. So, um, after which white would have tried to bring about one of the following two positions. So I'll show you what the position is. First one is um, this one. Alright, so this position, either this position or are you skip me some seconds? Alright, or this position. Right, so such position is what we call fortress. Right, fortress. Right, in in game theory, so a fortress is an um, impregnable position in which we can confine ourselves to passive defense and just wait, just waiting. Right, and then right, and, like of your opponent is up exchange, it's is even it's up material. He it's he will find it difficult to like to. To convert it, right? To, to break through, you know. And then basically, like, we just build up this fortress, this, this kind of fortress, and it, it could be a draw. Right? This, yeah, according to endgame theory, you know, they say it's a draw. You know, although Magnus Carlsen say he didn't believe it's in fortress, but who cares? <laughs> so, right, so, yeah, so this the, the best chance for, for white pieces. Right. Um, in the game, unfortunately, he didn't play a3. Well, he played queen e6. Sorry, after queen e6, well, he played king h2 instead of a3. And now rook c5. And... Bishop d3. This was a very bad move. It was a terrible move. Alright, so yeah, in this position, Black's arrow was still more annoying, you, you know, because it's there's some some counterplay, which is not easy. Yeah. 
So now, this was the last opportunity for white to exchange pawn. Now, a3, good move. You can't take because of queen d3. So let's say queen e5, again, trade, trade b4. Like, we, we talked about this position just now, right? Just now. Unfortunately, he played d3. So, like I said in the last video, if you have one shot, do not miss your chance to blow. This opportunity comes once in a lifetime, right? So, um, instead of capture this opportunity, he just let it slip. So, he played bishop d3 and queen e5. Now, it's completely winning because now you can't exchange the pawn anymore. It's just waiting for black. So, with take 6, rook e3, a4. Now, a3 is useless. Right, for example, um, every, every move wins, let's say king e7, because after b4 with a4, and you just take your pawn, you just completely winning for white, Com sorry, completely winning for black pieces. So in the, in the game, a4, king e7, king h4, king d6, g3, king c5, king h3, king b4, king g4, and then rook takes b3. Of course, if you take king takes, and then we just take your a pawn, and we just push our a, a file pass pawn. So... Push b5, okay, king c5, rook b8, king d6, push back 5 g6, and in this position, white resigns, so black win. Right, because, yeah, just completely winning position. Right, it's kind of like, um, yeah, I guess we have to win the g-pawn, I, I guess the, the, the idea is to win the g-pawn, but maybe, quick. Rook, sorry, so something like rook check, forcing the king back, and then or here, and then we try try and do something here. Well, I guess so. Yeah, but it's just a winning position, so um, what result? Also, there's some idea like to to trap this bishop now with with king d6. We should be fine. Just rook takes b5, and now push the a pawn. So um, this was nice. Was a quite nice uh, end game. So in this position, black piece, black pieces mess up with queen d5, allowing white um, to you know to to have these chances. Unfortunately, white didn't seize it. He didn't seize it. Seize this chance. Seize, seize this opportunity. And black win the game. Alright, so yeah, so in this position, of course, it's just much better for for, for black pieces because it's actually like two swan, two swan. So only move basically left knight takes c three. Right, and then we we up an exchange, but it's not easy. And then queen c five, it's like oh, just a win. In the game we play queen d five. Now it suddenly become a little bit tricky with a three. He did. Well, I didn't find a3, and now, okay, now it's winning, so, yeah, let's show you, like, like a, a, a careless can, can cost you, yeah, like, from a totally winning position, to a draw, even, yeah, so, that's the game, I hope you enjoyed, yeah, thanks for watching, as usual, just keep following my road to GM. And that's all. Bye, everyone.